The Three Gorges Dam has been Beijing's touted symbol of modernity, scientific progress, and industrial might. But there's a catch. The world's biggest dam might not actually work. Reuters reports that China's Yangtze tributary is seeing record-setting water levels and deadly floods, as experts increasingly question whether the Three Gorges Dam can do the job it was designed for, keeping severe floods at bay. China started building the Three Gorges Dam in 1996, and the structure in Hubei province has been the world's biggest dam since its completion in 2012. Flood control is one of the main justifications for the project, as cyclical floods have been a historic problem in the region. The dam stands at about 594 feet tall and 7,770 feet wide. However, Reuters reports that this is not enough to cope with the river's water levels, which have risen to a 20-year high, citing the University of Alabama's David Shankman. CNN reports that since June, severe flooding has impacted 38.8 million people, including 2.24 million displaced residents and 141 dead or missing. What does China's Ministry of Water Resources have to say about this? At a news conference, Vice Minister Ye Jianchun said the water discharges were made according to a, quote, detailed schedule, and that the Three Gorges Dam had been effectively controlling the floods. If you say so, buddy. Rampant floods come at a bad time for China, as COVID has already wreaked havoc on China's ordinary citizens and the economy. The year 2020 simply does not discriminate when it comes to fouling stuff up. A wave of Wuhan virus infections just hit Beijing. China has put Beijing on alert as a rash of 59 domestic COVID-19 cases were reported in the city as of Monday, according to Beijing Municipal Health Commission. Reuters reports that the city has put the neighborhood of Huaxiang on high alert and raised the epidemiological risk level for 10 other neighborhoods from low to medium. Dear viewers, I heard you ask where and how. Take a wild guess. That's right, it happened in another one of those horrible food markets. The Health Commission seems to be focusing its efforts on the Xinfati wholesale food market. Contact tracing has revealed that all cases were linked to the important food market situated in Beijing's Huaxiang neighborhood. An unnamed chain restaurant that sells traditional Beijing noodles was closed down after two employees tested positive for the coronavirus. Beijing has put all companies with employees who have visited the market on quarantine. Citing the state-ran Health Times, officials told Reuters that generic sequencing suggests the virus may have come from Europe to China. They were cited as saying the virus may have spread via contaminated meat, seafood or feces from the infected. Imagine being so sparkling clean that your pangolins are getting sick with bat viruses and then your people get the pangolin COVID. Hygiene people, hygiene. China is rightfully spooked by a new outbreak of COVID-19 right in its capital. Here is what we know. China has published the preliminary report on the Xinfadi market, a major food distributor that is linked to Beijing's latest surge in coronavirus cases, according to Reuters. Citing the initial findings, Reuters reports the market's seafood and meat stalls were heavily contaminated by the virus. The Chinese report speculates that low temperatures and high humidity helped the virus to thrive in the market. Citing the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Reuters reports that most Xinfati employees who became sick worked in the seafood section, followed by the beef and mutton section. Patients linked to the seafood section were the first to show symptoms. Inspectors found the virus on chopping boards used for imported salmon. Reuters reports that Chinese authorities have warned the public against eating uncooked salmon and halted imports of the fish from European suppliers. However, Chinese officials still do not know where the new outbreak came from. Reuters reports that a leading body of the Chinese Communist Party issued a statement this week saying the lack of hygiene in the nation's food supply chain must be addressed urgently. Color me shocked, comrades! New research shows the coronavirus outbreak might have started a lot earlier than the Chinese government wants us to believe. Satellite imagery of vehicle traffic around hospitals in Wuhan suggests the coronavirus may have struck the city months before the outbreak was acknowledged, according to Harvard University researchers. The manuscript of the study has yet to be peer-reviewed. According to the paper, the team reviewed satellite traffic images at the parking lots of six hospitals in the autumn of 2019. The researchers found a surge in the number of parked cars after comparing the data to the same period in the previous year. At the Wuhan Tianyu Hospital, which is one of the city's largest, the team counted 285 cars and trucks. 
This traffic volume is viewed as a proxy for respiratory patient intake, and the count marked a 67 percent increase over 2018. Additionally, the team analyzed internet search terms in China and found an uptick in searches for the words cough and diarrhea. Naturally, the authorities in Beijing resisted the claims. The BBC cites officials as saying the study is absurd and based on sheer speculation. However, the researchers note that hospital traffic volumes have been used effectively as a proxy for detecting respiratory diseases in Latin America. So, let's take a look at the raw data. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.